The most memorable U.S. sports moments of the last decade. Adam steps into it, passes, caught, digs, sideline. Let's get it. Many doubted we Starting out with Tiger Woods winning the Masters in 2019. This the just proves, boys, that you can cheat on your wife and everything will be okay. I will be using that at some point. Game 6, 2011. Oh, did he not catch that? Wait, did he sell or was that a crazy hard catch? I don't know baseball well enough. But holy shit. And that ties it up. Bro, did he sell back there? And then another nuke. Oh my God, that is nine to nine. That's insane. Dude, imagine getting that ball though. Being the guy who got that ball. Walk off solo home run. So after he hits that, it's just GG's. And then the other team just has to sit there and watch. Oh my God. Dude, I think I might become a baseball fan. Baseball's been kind of lit this year. I know that Derek Jeter is basically Michael Jordan of baseball. Is that accurate? And then this was his last ever game, and he actually played, like, super well in it, right? Or he gets, on, he gets on base, I think, right? It's actually so fucking hype. Here's the throw from Marquez. Richardson is safe. Ends his final game. Save. Dude, what are uh, what are MLB umpires like? Are they horrible? By the way, I have to pause this, guys. I fucking I got elbowed in the nose by Terrell Owens. My nose is all bruised. Don't worry, I didn't get in a fight. I don't think I'd win in a fight against Terrell Owens. So I want to take a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Context on that, I was in a flag football game and Terrell Owens was on the other team. My team won. I caught a pass. Uh, I caught a touchdown from Quavo. Whatever. Sean White winning gold in 2018. Dude, I remember when Sean White was like the king of the world when X Games were so massive. I feel like snowboarding and skateboarding as a sport have just lost popularity. Like, they're almost like a trend. Does anybody, you guys know what I'm talking about? I feel like skateboarding is still pretty cool, but... Dude, snowboarding used to be like the sport. I feel like fucking pickleball is like the sport right now. We've gone from this crazy shit to pickleball, man. That ain't right. Obviously, this had to be on here. Obviously, this had to be on here. Greatest catch ever. And DPI. And DPI. See, was this rookie Odell? Or is this second year Odell? Either way, that's disgusting. That just, yeah. Dude, that catch, like everybody and their mother watched that catch. Even if you had no interest in football, bro, if you're living in the slums in China, you saw that shit. Oh, I love this. I love this play. As a LeBron sexual, kind of was hoping LeBron would just drill that right there. But what a clutch rebound, Chris Bosh. And can you imagine if Ray Allen stepped on the line? Kevin Durant did that recently. He stepped on the line on what would have been a huge three. The Auburn kick six is insanity. I have literally seen the Auburn kick six on like 1,000 different montages, but I don't care. It deserves to be on every single one. Uh, you, you, I mean, one of the biggest games in college football this year anyway. Just so happens to be 28 to 28 with no time left. Just so happens to kick that to the one. I wonder if the kicker feels responsible at all. Like, I wonder if the kicker he has nightmares about this. Or if he feels like it didn't matter. I don't know. I can't imagine if I had kicked that kick. If I kicked that kick... You know what I want to say about this play? I'm going to run this back real quick. The kicker gives negative fucking effort to tackle this guy. It actually pisses me off. Like, obviously, this is such a low probability event that nobody on Bama's team is actually expecting, you know, to run out there. But this is a 57-yard field goal. This is not a 65-yard field goal. You probably should kick this further than this already. That's fine. What I'm pissed about... Okay, we'll take a look at this kicker here, right? Okay, he puts it up, it's short. The kicker should know that it's short. As soon as it comes off your foot, you know if it's short. 
right? It's it does. He lands on the about. He's got about a yard maybe from his back foot, right? So yeah, it's still a pretty deep kick. But you have to know the rules, right? You have to know this is returnable. And guess what? Where the hell is the kicker? The kicker is supposed to be the furthest man back. And yeah, he's probably the most unathletic guy out there, so he probably wouldn't have made the tackle. But I am offended that the guy whose fault this is is nowhere to be seen. In fact, I believe this is the kicker right here. Buddy who's just fucking limping, walking. Is this the kicker? It's not entirely your fault. Anybody could have made the tackle, but you kicked it. It was short. What are you doing? You're just watching the fucking season run into the end zone? That just makes me mad. It just makes me mad. There are a lot of times you see those, those kicks getting returned and like the punter, the kicker is back there. Like, at least trying, you know? Second overtime hockey. That's so sick. I don't, I just, I don't understand hockey all that well either, but I understand that's sick. His only home run? God damn it. I don't know. I don't know dick about baseball. I take it this guy is not a hitter. He's not a guy who hits nukes, but he did hit a nuke right then and there. The team <laughs> Dude, that is a hefty boy. How is that man in the major leagues? And there will be nobody in the dugout to greet him. <laughs> That's going to be where Keenum's going to try to work the ball in the back. Oh, God. Okay, I understand the context on this one. Oh, my God. What a nightmare. The tackle. Oh. I just can't believe that. What a bad beat for the Saints. Maybe bad beats not the right word. That was the Saints' fault, but still. Fourth overtime. Johnson. Oh, Drills it. Three. Wait, does he hit this? Who wins this game? Holy shit. What a shot. And you can't want it. May have done it. No way. USA versus Algeria? Wait, we we won? We won something in soccer? What? <laughs> Look at that dog file. Yeah, guys, it's versus Algeria, though. Why are we so geeked up? USA versus Ghana? We won another soccer thing? Guys, these are third world countries, all right? Are we really getting geeked up about this? Not to mention, those USA players, I'm going to be honest, that guy didn't look like he was born in the USA. If you catch my drift. I don't know what I'm talking about with soccer, man. Here we go, basketball. I know this sport. Oh, I know this shot. It's fucking disgusting. It's actually disgusting. And you know how pissed he is. You know how pissed that guy who hit that shot is because that is a ridiculous, disgusting shot. You would go down in history, infamous hometown legend after hitting the shot and sending it into OT. But it doesn't matter. Because I know what happens after this. Oh, that's disgusting. How special is this kid? Great student. It's good defense, too. It really was good defense. Ugh. But that's just... Oh, they're really playing this one out. They really want us to believe that that was the game winner. Look at Michael Jorfrod. Look at Michael Jor Gamble. You know he had the spread on this game. This is the spread beater right here. Splash! Oh my God, that's absolutely insane. That is absolutely insane. Right, Holiday's no hitter in first postseason game. That's actually so savage. That's so savage.
Go, go. Oh, dude, imagine. Imagine your teammates just absolutely whiff on the most routine, like, throw out at first, and you don't get the no-hitter. Like, right here. Although, that's not routine. That was a hell of a play by the catcher. Actually. Damn, he, he saved his pitcher right there. He really did. That was a that was a rocket. D. Gordon hits home run for Jose Fernandez. See, damn it! I'm just such a casual. I don't understand. Hey, there's that big boy, Colin. Oh my God, he he nuked it. That makes sense. So Bartolo is a pitcher. That dude is skinny. That dude is skinny. He just hit a bomb, dude. You got every shape in MLB baseball. I respect that. You got Bartolo. You got this dude who looks about my build. And then you got absolute Lloyd monsters. They should just have a baseball league where everyone's on steroids. I would watch that shit. Just let everybody. They all have the same advantage. They're all on gear. You know? They might all die at the age of 40. Entertainment, the man. Angels, Angels throw no hitter in honor of Tyler Skaggs. Tyler Skaggs oh. Frame jersey. This is ground ball to second base. Red Heifel. Oh, so this is Pick like uh, the first, the Angels. I guess, I guess the context of this is similar to like Kobe's Mariners. retirement. This is an unbelievable you know, season. This is like going for the onside kick. Okay. It's fucking insane. Against Peyton Manning, Dude, the gigantic titanium the steel nutsack you have to have to call this play in the Super Bowl right here. This could decide the game. On fourth and goal. Philly special. This is entertainment right here. Nobody's looking at Foles. So sick. Imagine that play gets blown up, you know? And then it just goes down as one of the worst play calls ever. But it does. It goes down to the best play calls ever. I always think about that with um, the Seahawks throwing the ball on the one-yard line. God damn. That's the Slim Reaper, baby. Blackhawks scored twice in 20 seconds. Oh, my God. That's actually insane. That's a, that's, you know what that is, is a choke. That's a, how you get scored on in hockey twice in 20 seconds in the Stanley Cup? Oh, no. I almost feel bad, man. That's, like, depressing. Caleb Dressel breaks Michael Phelps on the throw. Wait, what? Somebody broke a Michael Phelps record? <laughs> Dude, if you can make swimming exciting, you're you're built different. I know Michael Phelps is a savage and everything, but man, I just I could never get behind this sport. I'm not gonna lie to you. Guy's a dog though. Hey, you get a world record in anything, you're a dog. Also, swimmers are so jacked. Bro. They got the, they got monster lats, monster back. Holy shit, is she? Is she? Is she swimming in the Paralympics? Is she swimming against junior high schoolers? Is she on an, an unfathomable amount of trend bologna sandwiches? Where the fuck are the other swimmers? They're not even in frame. She's racing eight other people, and they're not in frame anywhere. That's the whole damn length of the pool. USA, Where the hell? Yet again. Was she racing by herself, or can I just not see her competition? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That guy does not seem to give a shit that he broke a world record, by the way. Or maybe he didn't know. Dude, oh my god, wait, there is. Look at that. That's a human being back there. Well, this bitch is... Gold medal. What? Ledecky, world record. Katie Ledecky of the USA reigns She smacked that world record too by like two whole seconds. It wasn't even close. I love this play. The by the way, you guys told me the context on this play. The play, the play was not run for Damian Lillard. It was run for Lamarcus Aldridge, and that's why Damian Lillard comes up clapping for it. Cause he's like, fuck that play. Calling on him. this shit. I'm open. Looking. The D Rose bank shot Rose. buzzer beater. Rose trying to get open. Fires Good away. defense. Bang. Nasty shot. It's over. The Bulls win at the buzzer. <laughs> this is a tough game. As a prime D Rose MVP bandwagon, as well as a LeBron sexual. 
Ichiro retires in Japan. I took a Japanese class in like fourth grade and they talked about just how big baseball is in Japan. It's a very, very, very important sport in Japan. It's obviously very important in the United States too, but American Pharaoh wins the triple crown. All right, all right, listen. If you guys want to clown me for not knowing baseball, that's understandable. That's, an ama that's a major American sport. But if you want me to know what the fuck the triple crown is in horse racing, you're, you've got me fucked up. This is at Belmont Park. Where is that, bro? Is that in the middle of Castlevania? Is that Trevor Belmont's? What is this? Is this a Euro poor sport? That's like expecting me to know soccer. The triple crown. The only triple crown I know is when Cooper Cup led the league in receiving touchdowns, receiving yards, and reception. All right? So if you want me to get hype about this, you're full of shit. It is. The 37-year wait is over. The 37-year wait? It's finally the one. American Shit's getting lit, I can tell you that. Somebody else? It's getting a triple crown? Dude, that announcer is bricked up. I tell you that. Golly, gentlemen, why are we standing like that? Wait a minute. Oh, this Hail Mary. This. I honest to God, I kind of hate that this is on here. Because it is such an insane sport moment. But this is some horse shit. <laughs> like the kick return Auburn did, that was like fucking nuts. That's awesome. Like, but this was just like, this is really one of the greatest flukes of all time. I would put this in a compilation of like the worst bad beats or the worst luck moments in sports. This man's Hail Mary was a bomb into triple coverage. And it's not like your receiver mossed him. These two dummies are fighting for the ball when it's fourth and 18. You need to volleyball spike that shit into the turf. It's awesome for Auburn. I'm not trying to be a hater. I just think like this play gets referenced so much, but it should be a fluke. It should not be in a compilation of greatest moments. It should be in a fluke compilation. This is not equivalent to hitting a game winning three. Wow, they've got a 63-yard field goal in here. I don't know if this deserves to be in here. Not to mention the broadcast is going to 62. That's a hell of a fucking kick. It's a hell of a kick. That's a rocket. He didn't even go to the league. That's honestly shocking. Hit a 62 in college and not go to the league. Although, wow, you could not. Wow. I've seen this one before, too. That's absolutely, like this is what makes you want to watch baseball. Seeing this shit in the crowd go absolutely bonkers, watch them pimp the shit out of that bat, that makes me want to go to a baseball game. Guys, the problem is I'm a Tiger spin, absolute dog shit. I don't think the Diamondbacks are good either, and that's in Arizona. So I don't really know where I'm gonna go watch good baseball. Maybe the Diamondbacks are good, I know the ti Tigers are good. Look at this shit. Look how fucking hype this is. Oh my god. I'm gonna pull into a baseball game. I'm gonna wear all the drip and I'm gonna have no fucking clue what's going on, but I'm gonna be having a good time, I'll tell you that. I'll get a dog. I'll actually kill a brew. I'll hit up Bree Delio. It'll be a good time. I dude, I want the context on this so bad. This is that Deshaun Watson Renfro kick. I know that one. Imagine like you're Alabama and you guys are just the most freak athletic specimens on the college football field and, and Hunter Renfro's full white ass just giving it to you. That's a fucking... It's such an aggressive play call when you're up 35 to 17. I guess that's the time that you try out those plays, but you're running a reverse flea flicker up three possessions. Ooh. Dude, he got leveled back there. Also against the Tigers, that's a bummer. That's tough. That's a tough one. Coming hurts. I don't even understand all this too well. I know that there was a point in time where the Tigers were nasty. And then like, somebody fucked somebody's wife and they got in a huge scrap. Greatest play ever. One of the greatest basketball plays ever. Oh, LeBron! Oh. Fucking love this play. Blocked by James! 
I watched this live and I literally wanted to have sexual intercourse with LeBron James. And then when Kyrie did this, I just doubled down. Huh? Huh? Kyrie so cool. You know what doesn't get talked about enough in this game? Is that defensive possession by Kevin Love. Kevin Love got switched onto Curry on like one of the last Warriors possessions when they were down by three. And in my head, I was so certain. I was like, oh my God, Curry is going to splash a three in this bozo's face. There is no way he guards him. And Kevin Love absolutely clamped his shit and Steph Curry did not hit rim on that shot. He went backboard, rebounded by, I don't even know who, but that game was over after that. The only thing I wish, I wish LeBron had completed that dunk on Draymond Green. I think I would have a poster of that on my wall right now if he had completed it, but he did not. All right, boys. Hey, these are some of the best U.S. sports moments of the last decade. Hey, and if you guys enjoy this, I'll definitely whip out some more. But I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.